On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one activity to do and one unique item to achieve. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans, get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonades to achieve a treasonous ring or loot 300 rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the unique within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit all the money I made to one of you guys, my viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to episode number 2 of Undrop Rate, in the last one we did Calfight Queen in hopes of getting the Dragon Chain Body and this one we're also going to be chasing a Dragon Item. We're going to be chasing the Dragon Warhammer, which means we're going to be killing 5000 Listenman Shamans and that is going to be a massive grind, which means I'm going to invest in the best possible setup for the job, so let's get into gearing. I'm going to be killing all of them in the Lizardman Canyon, which means I can use a cannon and I'm most likely going to be buying a lot more cannonballs than this, but to save even more prayer points, I have actually decided to buy a Ring of the Gods and then imbue it. I already have the points here. Let's go to upgrade and you have to have a holy wrench in your bag to be able to do this. And there it is, it is now imbued, which gives 8 plus prayer bonus. Hopefully going to save me a good amount of prayer potions during this grind. And the gear I'm going to be using is the full Shazian armor with a blowpipe that has amethyst darts in it. Other than that, just as good items as I possibly can for each slot. The Avas Assembler, Anguish, Ring of the Gods of course. And I don't have the Rada's Blessing, but uh, Ancient Blessing is good enough. For the entire grind, I'm going to be using the Rune Light Tracker, which obviously shows how much money all the loot you got was worth. So if I do not manage to get the Dragon Warhammer in these 5,000 kills, I know how much money I have to give away. But uh, just for security, double checking basically, I've killed 639 Lizardman Shamans, so that should end at 5,639. Because I have to use the full Shazian armor to kill them, this is why I wanted the Ring of the Gods, because look at my prayer bonus, it's 11, which is actually really bad. It's pretty much only this ring, the blessing, and I think maybe the necklace that gives any prayer bonus at all. So without this, it is going to drain my prayer like crazy, so hopefully this is going to help quite a bit. I wonder how many rune warhammers we are going to see in 5000 kill counts. Probably quite a lot, hopefully one of them is going to be red as well. Ah uh, yes, the Rune Spear, the 1 in 3378 drop. Not quite as rare as the uh, Dragon Warhammer, but it stings. Double Rune Warhammer back to back, imagine if that was the red ones. That would be 100 million right there, but uh, unfortunately it's 50k. Over the course of this video, I am going to be getting a bunch of alkable items like the Mystic Staves, the Rune items and all that good stuff. And I am going to be keeping the cash tag of every single alk value item in my bag. I'm currently up to 1.1 million almost. And I'm expecting that to go to crazy amounts, over even 20 million. Oh my god, I recently changed my loot beams to be the bigger ones for pretty much all rare loot and I got so baited. I just saw this beam and I actually had the biggest heart attack ever and it's just a Xerix Talisman. And actually it's only the first one, probably going to get a bunch of these. I've now been here one hour, I started the stopwatch the second I put down my cannon and I have currently 183 kills. You can see that right there. And that means the overall grind for 5,000 kills is going to take me, if I play super efficient all the time, with 183 kills an hour, around 27 hours. So realistically, it's probably going to be more like 30 hours or more than that. Okay, I am so happy that I checked my kill count on the soldiers down there in the beginning because my rune light has bugged out completely. I'm not sure why this is and it's kind of unfortunate, but this is not how many kills I've done. I've done 408 kills at this point and at some point this randomly just doubled. I'm not sure why that was. But everything that I got here basically just got doubled for no reason. So what I'm going to do for calculating all the money that I made, if I have to give it away, is that I'm just going to take 5,000 kills and then times that by the average amount of money the uh, Lizardman Shamans are worth because it is very consistent. As long as you don't get uh, the Dragon Warhammer, the money is going to be pretty much consistent all the time. 
and uh, that amount of money is 33.8 million worth of cash so that is how much money i am going to give away if i do not get the dragon warhammer within 5000 kills oh my god i knew this was going to happen curved bone that is the first curved bone of course of the grind and that is actually more rare than a Dragon Warhammer, but it's very close, it's like 1 in 5012 or something like that, and the Warhammer is 1 in 5k. Runelite Loot Tracker actually doubled my loot when I logged my group Iron Man, which actually solved the issue, so I'm just not going to do that, but I'm nearly at 1000 kill count now, I started at 639, and the loot tracker from now on is going to be accurate, so I'm going to be ending at roughly like 4550, something like that, on the loot tracker. No, that is 1 in 6.7k, that's more rare than the Dragon Warhammer. What? What? Oh my god, I, I've i never been that comboed in RuneScape before, Jesus Christ, that's first death. Ran out of Solra scales, so I have to buy 10,000 more for 1.7 million. Actually not that expensive to keep this up, the scales are pretty cheap. And 10,000 lasts a very long time, and I'm at 1,800 kill count roughly right now. Oh my god, I've completely forgot you could even get long bones. They're only 1 in 400. How have I not got any of those before? I'm at like 1,900 KC or something. No drop here or anything, but look at the XP counter we are going to be hitting, I think, on this one. Okay, not exactly on this one, but very soon after, 1 million ranged experience, there we go, 1 million and 1 experience in ranged from killing only Lizardman Shamans, which is very cool, and I think, honestly, we're going to end over 2 million. Yo, Dragon Medhelm, uh, oh, well, that's rare, that's 1 in 3.2k without Ring of Wealth, and of course, I'm using the Ring of the Gods. So, uh, well, we're getting a lot of dragon items at least, good sign maybe. Now, in my last video, I did ask you guys if you had any ideas or changes you would like to see with this series, and I actually read all of the comments, and I took everything to heart, and I really tried to think which one would be the best for the series, and I did feel like doing all the 5,000 kills, or doing all the kills, even if I would get the drop really early, was not the best idea, and that's why I want to do here what you guys thought about it. And I actually got this comment, I will put it on the screen right now, by Nick Sorg, I think that's how you pronounce your name, and he said, I would like to see you only give away half the loot value if you don't get the drop, and also, if you do get the drop, before the drop rate, do another activity. I think that it will help with reducing burnout, and in the long run, you will be able to upgrade gear faster. And this was 10 upvotes, and I think the most liked comment on my last video, and I think this is the best way of doing it. I thought about some other ideas as well, but I'm not going to get into all of those, but I think this is a good way of doing it. So this one is going to be the same as the last one, but the future ones I'm going to give away half the loot, and if I do get the item, for example, the Dragon Warhammer on 1000 kills, I would go on to maybe Venonatus and do that as well, but I would maximum do two bosses in one video. We are now at 2,900 kills roughly, and this is when I reach 10 million cash from just alking all the items that dropped. So it's not looking like I'm going to reach 20 million cash pile, but uh, if I'm lucky with drops, it could be possible. Now if you are enjoying watching me kill these lizardmen shamans with two weapons used hundreds of years ago, in the tribal ages, and the pirates using cannons, you know, on their ships, and uh, tribesmen using blowpipes to shoot down things from trees, which of course we all use in this medieval game. And remember to subscribe. Thank you. Out of the 27 hours I said this grind would take me roughly, I am now 20 hours exactly in, and I have 3,652 kill counts, so it is looking like it's going to be pretty accurate on the mark of 27 hours, and no Dragon Warhammer yet, unfortunately, but we still have some decent amount of kills to do, so it could still happen. <gasps> no way! Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god, I have never got this item in my whole life. Oh my god, I just had a heart attack. That is so insane, I actually got the Dragon Warhammer. I'm on 3812 KC. Man, that feels good. Look at this, Dragon Warhammer. 
it is currently worth 42.5 million. Oh my god. That is some profit I just made. And overall, my loot is right now on the tracker, including the 400 kills that I've done before the tracker. I'm at 67 million. So that is pure cash I get to keep, which is really nice because I already spent probably like 25 million in just supplies doing this grind so far. But I'm going to finish off the kills. Imagine if I get another Dragon Warhammer in the last thousand plus kills here. Wow, that is such a good feeling. I cannot believe that happened. Man, it feels so unreal that it actually happened. Like, it's one of those rare items that is so rare that you just never expect to see it. Like, even though you technically know that in 5,000 kills you should get one, like, when you actually see it on the ground, it's like, wow, that actually happened. But uh, just a reminder that this video is going to be, like, the first one where I'm going to complete all the 5,000 kills even now that I got the Dragon Warhammer. But in the future ones, I'm going to go by the other rules I stated earlier. What? What? What is that? There's no way. What? That can't happen. I've done 40 kills since I got my last Dragon War- That- I, I'm so- I have no idea what to say. How did I just get two Dragon Warhammers in 40 kills? I just- I guess we're making money, boys. What the hell? So we are getting really close to the end here. I have only 400 kills left to do and I'm actually keeping track of the kills not on the Runelite plugin because it can be very inconsistent. Sometimes you kill two of the listed men shamans in the same tick and it only counts as one. Fortunately that doesn't happen very often so it's going to be pretty accurate. And of course I'm also losing the 413 kills or something like that that I lost in the beginning of the video when I had to reset the counter because it bugged out as well. Overall, it is pretty inconsistent, so I'm actually keeping track of the kills exactly on the NPCs at the start of the canyon. But in the end, I will be able to show you guys the loot tracker for roughly 4,500 of the kills, and that should be accurate loot. And then just basically add 500 kills of the same type of loot to that. And uh, the Dragon Warhammers are of course counted. It's finally happening. This is the last kill for 5,000 kill counts on Lizardman Shamans. I have a bit of a morning voice right now. Uh, waking up finishing this grind feels really nice. 5.7k cash for the last kill. Let's go to the soldiers and have a look. I should be at 5,639 kills. And I have 2.5 million ranged experience as well. But let's have a look. 5,639. I guess I'm getting attacked a lot right now. So it's going to interrupt me all the time. Let's see if I can get a search in or not. I guess I'm just going to go away and uh, reset them. Alright, the reset. Let's have a look. Talk to the soldier, and that is 5,639 shamans, which is exactly 5,000 shamans in this video. Let's go and have a look at the loot. So on the screen right now, you can see all the loot from 4,582 kills. The kills I got tracked that was not removed in the beginning of the video, unfortunately. But just add a couple of percentages to this because it's only like 400 and what is that, 18 kills that is not tracked. And the GP average for me was 25,000 average. Which is 6k average if you do not get the Dragon Warhammer. So pretty much all the money, or if you're going to be making money here, it has to be from Dragon Warhammers. Because in the supplies, I pretty much used as much as I got probably, except the Dragon Warhammers. In Cannonballs, Solar Scales, Amethyst Darts, Prey Potions, Anglerfish, all of these things, I probably used around 20 million. And just in Alex, which is, I guess, most of the money that you're getting here, consistent money, you can see all the top items are Alkeballs and just pure cash. I got 18 million, and the Dragon Warhammers are currently worth 42.3 million, and I got two of them, so 84.6 million, which is ridiculously good in 5,000 kills. And as I said, this grind overall with banking and everything took me roughly 30 hours to do. So I would say... Pretty good money making in this video, but definitely a very long grind to do, and very monotonous as well. It, it was not very enjoyable of a grind, but uh, it is now done at least. And also, of course, we have the two Dragon Warhammers in the collection log, so that is a very nice slot to have done. Of course, there's a lot of very difficult items to get here, so it's not like the hardest thing is completed, but it is a very hard thing to complete for the miscellaneous tab, so nice to have that for the future. 
But I thank you all so much for watching. If you did like the video, please remember to leave a like for the algorithm. It really helps my videos get out there and all that good stuff, of course. And subscribe if you want to see my future uploads over the On Drop Rate series. We are just getting started and I am so excited for the future episodes. But until next time, guys, take care.